found anything to put in my whiskers apart from the island cheeses. Well, that, that is good, so we're going to actually be able to drink whiskey and eat. Your whiskey, so it's a perfect match. Perfect match. I'm sure if you watched the last video, then we were talking about a diet, <laughs> and then we just quickly scrapped that idea. This is almost like the back in the days of the Dwayne going to the drawing room, mm. with, with drawing to the room to talk, well, nonsense, in front of the fire. That's a proper grown up whiskey. Oh, I'll, need, I'll, need, I'll need to look at just you talking about the gents retiring to the. To the, oh, again, to the drinks room. No, no. Oh, right, so it's not. Is, but this the song down these lines that we're talking about was we used to have the dining room and then the gents would vacate to the room next door and withdraw to have their, have their cigars and their drinks. But there's a house, I'll need to look up the name of it, there's a house that Robert Adam designed and between the dining room and the gents drawing room in the wee corridor, there happens to be a wee piss pot. <laughs> no way. Yes. But you just... So they actually, and, and that wee space was designed for this piss pot. So you actually, <laughs> instead of having to go away to the toilet somewhere else, on your way through to the room, you would just stop and have a wee, a wee pee. <laughs> so that's the reason the ladies weren't allowed through. Yeah. Well, <coughs> I think there were many reasons why the ladies weren't allowed through. <laughs> I think the top went downhill probably quite quick. <laughs> <laughs> so no, so what are you thinking about it with the, the water? So sometimes I feel yeah. that the water will destroy it. Yeah. Oh, I think this one could probably take yeah, a little bit more. Yeah, it can take some water. There's mm. more flavours. To... Still, there's still a, there's a little hidden smell in there. And I just, I just can't get it. It's not vanilla. It's not. It's, 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 it's so really water it's, doesn't it's change the smell of it, but it changes the taste. No, sometimes it's going to release more, more aroma. Oh, that's totally going to be there. That's definitely it's going to release. Worse than. Definitely. Although, what is it releasing? Oh, that definitely. I don't want to think in that sort of generalisation, but it would seem when you put a little water uh -huh. in the unpeated whiskies, it seems to, so far, that look so the dilute them and kind of kill off what they've got. Whereas the stronger, and it could just be the actual, it could just be the, the strength of the actual spirit. But if you think about it, we're quite used to putting a little bit of water in island whiskies. Mm. I mean, it's almost a sort of a given that you, you always sort of do a couple of dabs in your, yeah. uh, in your Buna Habans and your Lafroigs and your, certainly your Ard Eggs. But what we found recently in the Highlands and the Space Sides, once we've actually Dropped in a lot of water, it's almost. Oh, yeah, it's almost like they killed them off. Yeah. yeah. Whereas a little bit of water in that, no, no only makes it last a little bit longer, if nothing else. Well, that's definitely enhanced. I would say it's enhanced it. It's, but, so, how did, how did we end up in Rassi? Rassi was part <laughs> of our Land Rover trip, our annual Land Rover trip to England. And this year's was Sky and Rassi. And we took 90, 90 Land Rover members across to That's Sky. a good number. That's a good number. It was, it was consistent. We started off with 21. So, did that include 90 including kids? Yes. Yes. Oh, yes, there was a few. And how many, how many Land Rovers? 47. 47, 47, 47 Land Rovers descended. 47 Sky. Land Rovers descended on Sky. Oh, 46 plus yeah. Sky. <laughs> yeah, we'll fucking put it in. Oh, no. So oh, we hang on, 45 plus a car and a Volkswagen. Oh, a Volkswagen. Well, 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 well. Ah, but did that car and Volkswagen identify as Land Rover? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think it did. Yeah, they were. They were. It also came all the way from Devon, so that would have been a long haul in a Land Rover. <laughs> we're going to wrap it as a Land Rover. Well, but the yeah, next one's. I think, <laughs> I think we should do. So, no, that was, that's, that was fantastic. And it was fantastic to see so many people over there. But surprisingly, Sky is quite a big place. So apart from when we were at the hotel and on the campsite, everybody just seemed to yeah, that's been scattered, dispersed, and scattered. Yes, you were you were passing people on the road, but, but we all went to explore. Yeah, we did get diluted, but it was. I, I, but we did meet up in a few different places. And it was a request from Rassi that we didn't try and take over. Although we did take over nearly all the members. 
Oh, we did that. No, we did take all the members over, but only 79 of them went for a tour, which is so for one for tour, tour. Well, it was it was two tours, but for one booked tour was a yes, amazing all, amount. Yeah, it was all at the same time. Yeah, we had, but we, we had two two coinciding. Like, oh, just just, just tours, one tour. Or basically two tour two tours at the same time in the same facility. But we just we didn't see your tour. You no, didn't see our tour, no, so they done really we well. Just, with we that. just juggled it so yeah. that we were just let us go ten minutes in front. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so it was, and it was lovely to it. And both we were in different groups, and and both the tour guides were fantastic. It was, they were so really friendly good. and full of information. Is yeah. I mean the information that they gave, and it wasn't just about the whiskey. It was about mm. how much the island is a family and a unit, and the hire everyone that's on the island. There's only one person in the distillery who's not from the island and everyone else is from the island, which is so good. There's 161 residents in Nasi. And that, oh sorry, you have that on the bottle. Actually tells you in the bottle. Because <laughs> we're not quite sure we should actually have actually got enough bottles now we could actually see the changes. No, no, we did. We looked at them. So all the bottles that we have that you see, they all say 161. 161. So they all say 161. Yeah, actually. yeah, which is nice. So we'll just need to we'll need get in contact with the distillery and just see if there's been any births. <laughs> it's up to 162 now. <laughs> or we could just keep buying bottles and see. <laughs> and just see what happens, yes. That would be an option. It's, it's... I think for sure though, if anyone is heading the sky this year, next year, is don't, don't drive past the little ferry that takes oh. you over to Rassi. Because you may think that it's the same as the mainland, it, it's so close. It's just another rock, but it's got a little magic, hasn't it? Mm. I mean, you, you, you come off the boat, and a ferry always makes any trip exciting. We all love a little ferry trip. And you come off, and you, whether you walk up, because don't get me wrong, you don't have to drive over, you could you could just simply get the ferry over and walk up to the distillery. But if you do drive over to Rassi, you there's not a lot you could say to explore. But well, it's a lot. I mean, you go down and you get to visit the old, the old iron ore mines. Okay. And if you actually buy the book or you read the, the story of the, the prisoners of war and enemies became friends and a great little story down the bottom half of the island. And Neil went up to the up to North the Island, where it's uh, Callum's Road. Um, and poor chap spent ten years building his own road to his house because the council didn't help him. And now the, the road's been tapped. Once they finished it, the council decided to tap back in. And, but it's, it's, a, it's a wee bit of a, a mixed, mixed story that it's, it's great about somebody's endeavours, but it's, it's just so sad that by the time he finished it, the reason that he had built it was it had lost its essence because the people, they built it to keep people there. By the time he finished, they all had left. You should give them a hand. <laughs> well, I think some of them did, <laughs> but some of them did. And it, it's, it's, but there's been, oh, there's certainly a, on the island, it's a small island, but there's plenty to keep you busy all day. Yeah. Between between that, the ironworks, the Callum's Road, the distillery, there's the, the house there as well. I mean, yeah. if none of that was there, you would want to pop over to Rassi purely for the views. I mean, it is, it is stunning. But you have a time on it. If you think sky looks stunning when you're on sky, it looks even more stunning when you're looking at sky. I think there's something about Scotland that the, the islands, there's a certain charm about the islands, but when, the smaller the island gets, the more charm it gets, the more charming the island becomes. Yeah. So it's, and hopefully, we'll find out next year when we go to gear. Yeah, gear, very small island. The, the island gear. Unfortunately, there's not a distillery on gear, but. Not yet. Oh well, yeah, well, maybe take one with us. <laughs> well, shall we say, no illegal distillery. You're not going to try to get anyone in trouble, but I'm pretty sure over the years somebody has been producing a little bit of something. You would have thought so. You would have thought so. But no, that's a, that's a lovely, a lovely... That's my favourite one so A far. lovely dram from a lovely distillery. And the fact that they employ so many people that live in the island and has brought back uh, so much employment to the island is just, just excellent. And it is let's, let's see more of that. It really is an all round yeah. 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 good story. Yeah. An all round warming trip, isn't it? Yeah. The distillery, the story, the history of the island. I'm assuming that this is possibly as low as the population 
has been and all of a sudden the distillery has given the youngsters and well, everybody a reason to stay on the island. Well that's certainly a big reason to visit the island. Yeah, there's young girls, no sorts that have left the island and have come back to work in the distillery when they previously they thought there was no hope of employment on the, the island that have actually managed to, to get back working in the distillery. Yeah. So there's, there's nothing. They've got accommodation in the distillery, mm. which is you either book it out as a full group or you can book it individually, so you don't need to go as a group. If you just want to do it individually and there's a room, you can book it. And they, they do a lovely meal for you when you book that. So they, they don't actually have a restaurant, even though. So we were really lucky we got Buffy um, whilst we were there, and the Buffy was incredible. But it's not a, a walk in and you well, can have lunch. Like it's, you can get coffee. Yeah, yeah you can get yes. coffee and you can get cocktails at the bar, and the bar is beautiful to sit. Um, but to go over and stay on Rassi, to stay in the accommodation, it's well worth it. To, to have that extra special tour, to stay where you're having the tour, they give you the whole package, it's all the thing comes to life. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, well, we actually <laughs> have to go back to Rassi because we all bought into bought a cask. No, we, we bought a cask. We bought a cask. <laughs> it was so good <laughs> that we bought a whole cask. <laughs> and you get, in your time of owning that cask, so we can open it whenever we want to. We're opening ours in 2028. Which is not that far away. It's not. It's, it's not. not. It's we bought, we bought it two years ago. Three, two years ago. Must be three. We're not it must be th it's three. We're going to open it when it's eight years old because it's the Scottish Land Rover Owners Club members that bought shares in the cask. For the 70th. And we want to open it on the club's 70th anniversary, so we're hoping it takes We're going to, we're going to open it a little early. So, oh. so you get, in that time that you've got your cask, you get three tastings. Oh. And don't think any of you guys can sneak off to Rassi without my permission it's, because it's in my name. <laughs> it's a sort of a six hour trip from you. It's okay, we're on it. <laughs> so I'm sure we can do it before. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so we have to arrange to, to go through. But oh, yeah. When we were there, there wasn't enough time for us, unfortunately, no. because the cask is kept hidden. Hidden, hidden. hidden. from us. So we, um, but you bring so many. Cask members, too many. Yeah, we couldn't have everybody plundered. Yeah. <laughs> because there is only three tastings yeah. throughout that time that it's. What, three drums? Three drums. So it's three years old just now. But let's face it, if you try it for six hours for a dram, you deserve well, the dram. Yeah. Mm. So I reckon that we should try it at three years old, at six years old, and at eight years old. So that's next year. And then. Well, now. <laughs> um, I think. Good ideas since we're taking it out for the club's 70th. But I don't think we have to take it all out. We could take half it out, give all the members a bottle, and put what's left, or a bottle in that, two bottles, and put what's left back into a quarter cask or a smaller cask, and then we could let that each for a little bit longer. The problem with that is that you risk the kind angel share. Well, there's always more. that, there's always that. Yes, that's. Yes, when we talked earlier about the quartered cast, that's so that's the thing about the quartered cast, although it gets maybe more flavour, but yeah. it can lose more than yeah. the angel share. Yeah. Well, it loses, it, in theory, it becomes more mild and it becomes a little less spicy and jaggy. But to be honest, most of us actually quite like our whiskies yeah. young, spicy, and jaggy. Well, I'm actually surprised because Cause... when you talk about the, the, the age of the whiskey and when we got the Torvig, mm. It was only a three-year-old whiskey, yes, and you know there's a massive amount of flavour on that three-year-old whiskey. That can't be an old whiskey, that can only be a three to a five-year-old whiskey. Yeah. It can't be any older. No. There was no older. Why? This is because I don't know. Why is there no ages in the Rassi whiskey? I just don't think... It's a young distiller, I just don't think it's that, that you important. Wouldn't, you wouldn't put four years old. Yeah. So you wouldn't say three years old or four so years old. Cahoman actually knows Cahoman's now selling a 12 year old. Yes. That's really exciting because when we first got in touch with yeah. Cahoman, they were, they they were yeah. proper yeah. new. The 12 year old would just have been an ambitious dream. Yeah. <laughs> and, we are. and they're there. So uh, they will have barrels set aside and it will be a 10 year old, a 12 year old. But right now, well, they're that's just selling this beautiful spirit. So that's why it's sort of being we're and so sort of disappointed a bit. Because the, the first release was so popular, they were, um, they were struggling to, they actually had to release more 
yeah. that they had hoped to put aside. Yeah. So the, the, demand, the demand for a three-year-old whiskey was so great yes. that it's reduced the what they had five-year-old, eight-year-old, twelve-year-old, yeah. twenty-year-old. But they did send it all over the world. Yes. It wasn't just Scotland they got. No. So yeah. The, yeah. when you start to do that, you need a lot of bottles oh, you of do. whiskey. It's a lot, a lot. But yeah. isn't it great though that the excitement around these new you young know. distilleries and we're, we're moving away from the that sort of stuffy, it has to be a 21 year old. I wouldn't drink it if it wasn't an 18 year old. You seem to be moving away from that and everybody's excited by, that they just can't wait to try these new whiskies. I think what you're finding is that more people are actually drinking those. It's, yes. you're, you're actually, these younger distilleries. Yes. And yes, the, old, the other distilleries are, are marketing themselves to a wider range of people, but it is. Whiskies, there's such a, a broad spectrum of flavours and textures oh, and that's just colours and smells to it. There, there is no, I know, I know still talk's supposed to be about distilled alcohol of, of any type, but whisky has such a broad range, oh, sure. it's very, very difficult to diversify ourselves yeah. to talk about others. But, yeah. but we will do. Yeah. We will do. We may run out of whiskey one day, but it's going to take us a long time. What excites me about it is that it's the same ingredients. No matter which distillery you go to, mm. they use the exact same ingredients. That's the magic. But you've got but all these flavours. Where do they cross, get the flavours from? You can cross that over to almost vodka, gin, bourbons, corn, but mm. you could cross that over to kill us those things plants plant things <laughs> but yeah it, it is amazing you basically take those simple ingredients and you can produce so many but like you say whiskies are we're finding it difficult to move over, over to rums or because whiskies are I maybe mean, you, you could sit down and drink Rassi is a new distillery but there's already there's, there's a good range already in Rassi. They, they've got a huge range, so if you finish that one, that would be a taste of their... The lighter. I don't want to say standard bottle, but the, it's their signature, their bottle. signature, signature bottle, bottle. bottle. Yeah, yes. that they have. Yep, yep, which well. is quite... We should have started with that actually, because we've given you... Oh, so no, 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 of course, clean. they also they also do the gin. Do you want that in well? between? <laughs> well, no, I think I think we'll keep that for another we'll night. We'll keep that for another night. But we have, as you can see, we have tried the gin, and the gin is oh, the gin is just the gin is like a bowl of fresh squeezed lemons, oranges, limes, citrus, and it's got a certain viscosity to it that just it's lovely. Yeah. It's a lovely. Heat. It's almost got that. You don't want to dilute it with anything. Mm. Right, so that's what we say, right? So gin, mm. you know, I really yeah, don't like. Sure. I, I, it's not that I don't like gin. Yeah, I don't like tonic, gin. okay? Mm. And I've never ever thought whiskey. You you have neat. Yeah, and but it's, it's always okay. a gin and tonic, but, isn't it? Yeah, gin You're and always tonic. offered a gin and tonic. But yes. on the tour, they don't give you anything. They <laughs> just give you the gin. Just get the gin yeah. And actually, it was an eye opener because mm. why do you have to put tonic in it? You don't. No. And they actually recommend that you have that with a slice of orange. You can smell it's it. It's just orange. amazing. Oh, I can. You can smell yeah. it. Oh, that's yeah. good news. Like, you can definitely smell that. Getting that orangey, lemony, just. Mm. Oh. So I highly recommend a neat gin. Mm. And I would yeah. definitely go for a oh, Rassi. Right. And again, in an absolutely as Rassi does, design is everything. An absolutely. Yeah, but what's really good ball. is that when they started doing the gin, because obviously the gin was first. The bottle was smooth, mm. and it was such a shame because the the Rassi um, whiskey bottles are so decorative, and they changed to the same. And I really like the one that's already done.